Transformers 96er, another update on a video that I made yesterday. Um, this time we're going to be talking about the X-Men Marvel Legends Sentinel HasLab project. Um, so there's been an update with the uh, the item, what you get with it. There's been an update as far as how many backers it has. And I've made a decision if I'm going to get it or not. So I figured plenty of new stuff to make a video on. And uh, yeah, this is quite an exciting project. I, I think that the whole idea of doing kind of a crowdfunding figure is really fun. And I think that uh, it was just, it's a great idea from Hasbro. So, very fun. I've been kind of refreshing the page every now and then, then um, from yesterday and today, just to see kind of how far it's getting. But if you missed my video from yesterday, um, the situation is there's a new figure from Marvel Legends. It's the biggest one they've ever made. Um, it is a figure that will only be made if 6,000 people. Um, basically buy it right here not just say that they they not just like promise that they'll buy it but actually put it on pre-order and confirm that on the 24th next month uh they'll all be charged and that number has been hit uh, they hit 6000 backers um which happened quite fast too uh, i think i you know i didn't follow the first two projects that they did the uh, the sail barge and unicron um i didn't follow to see how long it took for those two to hit their goal um but this one hit the goal just over a day. I think it was like within 26 hours it hit the goal, um, which I think is pretty spectacular considering, as you can see by that countdown, um, we still have 44 days, 7 hours, and 56 minutes. Uh, so I think it's hysterical that it hit it just over a day. And um, that really shows you the immense um, popularity of the, the idea of this and the people that want it. Um, and I think they actually, they shot a little too low with that 6,000 number. But anyway, very exciting that it has hit it. So this officially will be made and produced. You know, 100% here we will be getting the figure. Um, currently, as you can see, even though it's hit 100% here, you can see the current backer count, uh, which is at 6,500. Um, and that's quite nice to know because one of the big updates here is that... Um, with each thousand extra up to three thousand on top of the minimum requirement of six thousand we'll get an extra item extra accessory I talked about this a little yesterday uh, and now as we've hit the you know the six thousand they revealed what the first accessory will be if we hit seven thousand um, based on the progress here I think it's absolutely hundred percent sure that we'll hit all three of them too so we will be getting three additional accessories um, so just to go over quickly this uh, the, the first accessory that we're getting it's a totally new head sculpt which I think is awesome and it's a master mold uh, uh, head sculpt itself I think it looks really cool I think that the the paint and the design do match the body here I think that this uh, the Sentinel kind of uh, frame works well with the head sculpt it's quite a big head sculpt too definitely bigger than the uh, than the regular uh, Sentinel head sculpt that comes with this figure too um, so it adds probably a little extra height which is nice still is gonna have those uh, light up eye it's still maintains that feature which is quite nice looks like a cool head sculpt I do like it it's it's very fun um, I was really hoping that one of these accessories would be a new head sculpt so I'm pretty happy that it is so it looks awesome um, you need uh, or we need 7,000 people to, to pre-order this item to get this head sculpt which should happen any moment um, by tonight we'll probably have hit uh, 7,000 and uh, we'll be getting this head sculpt um, so that's quite exciting and then if they do it the same way that they did with this one then as soon as we hit 7,000 they should show what 8,000 is and then as soon as we hit 8,000 we should see what 9,000 is um, I did just kinda wanna briefly go over what I would like to see or what I think is possible or just kinda all the um, different ideas of what those other two secret accessories could be so the um, one thing that it could be that, but I doubt, is kind of a, a bit of a base, you know, some rubble pieces, or something like that, so that you can have a bit more of a display with them. That would be certainly very cool, but just I don't see that being the case, considering it would need to be quite large. Um, and just as a little additional accessory, I, I very much doubt that that'll be the case. But that would be cool. Um, the next thing that it could be is possibly another new head. There's just so many designs from the Sentinels uh, that uh, to get an, a new design of a more modern version of Sentinel would be very cool. You know, I, I would be totally okay if all three of these extra accessories were just different head sculpts so that you could really pick the style of Sen Sentinel that you like the most or if you're going to buy multiple, which uh, surprisingly, even at this price point, I've seen several people people buying multiple um, then they can display them in all sorts of different types of uh, uh, you know 
um, models for the Sentinel, so that would be cool. Uh, another thing could be another 6-inch figure. Um, this one, of course, does come with a 6-inch figure, but they could introduce another one that kind of goes with him. Um, maybe even just, because uh, the, the figure that uh, comes with him now, comes with an additional head sculpt um, to kind of do a Sentinel Prime, so possibly another kind of smaller scale Sentinel, or an X-Men character, of course, to have him battle, um, so that would be cool. Uh, then the things that I'm a little bit more lean towards that I think that they'll probably be. So those are just kind of like possibilities. Um, but if I had to kind of guess what they'd be, I think that one of them is going to be some sort of extra accessory pack for his hands. Um, and by that I mean he already comes with a tentacle piece that can plug into his hand. On both of his hands he has a little hole which can plug the tentacle into. Um, so I think that a second tentacle, so he can have two, uh, is is pretty likely. I'd be surprised if we don't get a second one. So I could see a second ten tentacle and then what I would really hope for is a blast effect so that you can have him like blasting out a, a beam of uh, energy from his hands. That would be really cool too. So I think that possibly you know one of these extra um, packs is going to be a tentacle and two blast effects or even just one blast effect or something. Uh, I think that would be quite nice and something pretty necessary. I'm actually I really want that. And then the other thing that I think that it could possibly be is um, kind of in the same vein as a new head sculpt, but um, some battle damage parts. Um, I certainly don't think that it's going to be like a huge limb that's battle damaged or anything like that, uh, but it would be really cool if possibly like one extra one is a head sculpt that's completely damaged, like a big chunk out of his head is taken out, you know, wires are hanging out and he looks all messed up. That would be really cool. And then maybe like a battle damaged shoulder pad, you know, that you can interchange. That would be awesome. Um, especially, I mean, anybody who's getting the Sentinel I'm sure has plans to set up a, a nice big display with him you know fighting the X-Men as, as a big team and that's certainly what I'm gonna do so having some battle damage pieces for that would really enhance the display so I'm very much hoping um, so yeah so those are my guesses some ones that like it could be but I doubt and then the ones that I'm kind of more expecting it to be uh, with the, the tentacle and blast effect pieces and then battle damage pieces or battle damage head of some sort so we'll have to see I'm very excited it's it's a lock that we'll get get these for sure um, I think that we'll probably have all 9,000 by the end of tomorrow maybe if if things go a little slower maybe um, uh, maybe by the end of the weekend um, but overall I think that uh, uh, we 100% will be getting these. I think that this new head sculpt's awesome, and it shows it, it helps bring the price up to what it needs to be because this is definitely a very expensive item. Um, it is $350, of course, and with a uh, uh, with such an expensive item, you know, from a series where they're, the normal figures are 20 bucks, um, it's not like this is a hot toy, you know. So you have kind of a, a collecting demographic who's definitely not used to that price point so I um, I think that overall it's 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 hard for me to tell if it's worth it or not just when it comes straight down to what you get versus the money um, it's very big uh, but it you know it, it still has the Marvel Legends detail which is good but it's certainly no Hot Toys detail and Hot Toys this is kind of the more Hot Toys price range um, for his size though Hot Toys if they made this exact same figure same size they'd be definitely charging more for it though of course it's not like they're they're comparable to Hot Toys here um, but it's such an expensive amount that adding these extra accessories I think are really helping kind of help balance it out um, because he's very light on accessories like you get a regular figure with him so that knocks the price down by 20 bucks you know so it's for 330 you're basically just buying this figure and one tentacle um, so to add some accessories to him does make it a little bit more worth it I think and as far as if I have decided to buy it or not, um, I I have. I definitely decided to buy it. I hemmed and hawed about it for a while. Um, the the real pushing point that got me to go, okay, I'm going to get this, is uh, I was talking it over with my wife, and she very much was strongly um, uh, suggesting that I should get it uh, because she was very sure that if I didn't, by the time August 24th rolled around and they, the ability to buy him stops, I will definitely regret it and I'd be complaining that I didn't do it. So I took her advice and I went ahead and I, I ordered it. I was the, uh, let's see here, what was I? I was the 5,963rd person to order it, so I was very close at the end of this first round, um, but I made it in there, I squeezed in. So I'm very excited for this piece, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for those extra accessories 
as well. I'm, I'm really excited to see what they'll be. And yeah, I'll probably, I'll definitely make a video talking about both of them. I might make two individual videos as they're both shown if they're cool enough to make a video on um, in individual by themselves. But this is a really cool project. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it is very popular here with strong support. And I think probably stronger support than they expected. If, if they kind of knew how fast it would have hit this goal, I'm sure that they would have upped it. I, I seriously doubt that... Um, I, you know, I think that the goal for them is to have it where it does hit the target, but it takes like a few weeks to do so, you know, um, and then they have it as a month and a half just to be safe. Uh, but I'm certain that they didn't expect it to actually hit its goal in, in a single day. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, you know, even just when I pulled up this page, we were at 6,557 and we're at an even 6,600. Uh, 6, so it's gone up 43 people since we've been talking here. So this is uh, bound to hit 7,000 any minute and secure us that new head sculpt. So let me know what you guys think of the item itself and uh, especially the fact that it hit its mark so fast and the new accessories. What do you think that they'll be and how do you like the first one that's been shown? So thanks so much for watching.